Hey guys, today we're going to go over how to create a gang sheet in Canva. So to start, you're going to come to the right and click create a design, custom size, put in the size that you want. For this example, we're going to do 15 by 24. Then it'll open up a new window with a blank doc and that's where you're going to start. And then you're going to come over to the left and click uploads. Scroll until you find what you're looking for and then you can either drag and drop your design or you can just click it once and then you're going to grab the corner of your design and then you're going to drag it and you'll see the design size pop up in the corner so you can use that to kind of gauge how big or small you want your design to be and then you can add as much artwork as you want that you can fit on your design um, in this one that I'm uploading now I went to edit photo and I'm taking out the background because I want it to be a white background or transparent and so then I'm going to resize it to the size that I'm really looking for and that's going to fit on the garment or blank that I'm going to be pressing on. So I'm going to add a couple more designs that I think are going to be super fun just to fill up my gang sheet. Again, removing the background um, and this is a feature only in Canva Pro and I didn't love the line design so I deleted it and I'm going to use some different bright colored ones instead since I've already got kind of a watercolor um, design with the elephant. So as I'm going through and adding these different designs to the gang sheet, I'm going to size them right away to make sure that I don't run out of any room. This monkey design, I'm actually going to remove the background and then I'm going to crop it to get rid of that extra space. Um, this is just kind of saving the overlap on our gang sheet. And then also it's super tall, so to save space, I'm also going to rotate it. And then I would be able to stack, I'm gonna be able to stack more underneath it and get the most use out of my gang sheet. So we're just gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Um, so you can kind of fit, mm, adjust your gang sheet however you want to get the most out of it. Uh, for this next design, it has a square purple background as you can see. So I'm, again, I'm gonna remove that because I don't want just kind of a purple square on my garment. And then I'm also going to crop it again, just like I did with the monkey one. And then I'm going to size it to also go on a full shirt as well. And then I'm going to adjust it on my gang sheet to use the best of my space. I can't do it there just because there is a little bit of overlap. So I'm going to actually put it below the monkey. Um, and then I'm going to do actually some kind of left chest, some logos. Um, so I just used our heat transfer warehouse logo as an example. So I am also going to adjust that where I want it to be to make the best use of my gang sheet space. And then I'm also going to look up another logo in the search bar. Um, and then you can just click that and it'll upload into your sheet right away. So I'm going to size this down to be a left chest size logo. Um, and then I'm actually going to copy and paste if you're a keyboard person like I am this is control C and control V um, so I'm making I'm duplicating all these there's also the duplicate feature in Canva so it's gonna duplicate whatever you have highlighted which is super easy to super fast um, so I'm gonna make many different left chest logos and then I'm actually going to come up to the top on the right hand side and I'm doing going to rename what I'm working on to gang sheet. Um, and then I also wanted more ad shark logos. So I just control C to control V the whole group. And then I'm going to shift them down to make more space on my gang sheet because I'm going to do kind of a, a front hat design. So you can do DTF hats. So this one says find happy. So I'm going to make it the size that I want. And again, copy and paste these because I'm looking for to make about three different hats with this all with all the same transfer. And then I'm going to move my heat transfer house logo down so I can make some more of those as well. Just going to duplicate those with the quick duplicate feature here in Canva. And continue to do that till I have about four that I'm happy with and then I'm gonna move um, my hat designs up a little bit more so I have almost no white space left on my gang sheet and then we're gonna come over to the share button in the right corner and then download uh, I'm doing mine as a PDF because that's accepted on heat transfer house's website and then you click download 
So it's going to download your file. Again, this is in Canva Pro. And then I'm actually going to upload that file right into Heat Transfer Warehouse's website. So I'm going to open a new window and I'm going to, I have a bunch of bookmarks, so I'm just going to use that. And then go to DTF Gang Sheets. And then I'm going to pick my size and we did 15 by 24. No, it's not a reorder. And then I'm going to upload my design. There, it's all in there. And then I'm going to add to my cart right away. So I'll see it in my cart up above. I can continue to shop or I can check out like I normally would. So you just create your gang sheet in Canva and then save or download it and then upload it to the heat transfer warehouse website with the DTF gang transfer sheet size that you want. And then we are able to print it after approval within one to two days. And then it's on its way to you and super easy to do. Let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.